Hey guys, it's Roberto from Design Lab here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the eraser tool within the app to create really unique images. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some text, uh, the word metropolis, which is the first word that comes to mind uh, when looking at this great photo of this building, which I've actually uh, downloaded from Unsplash, which is a free photography tool available right within the app, uh, which is very, very handy. So uh, I'm going to change the font to Poppins, which is a really nice, uh, bold typeface, which I really enjoy. And let's change the color to a not so not so black, to like a dark gray uh, to match the lines of this building here. Right. So I'm going to reposition the word up here. Um, let's do it like right around here, kind of like on top of the building, because what we're going to do here with the erasure tool is we're going to try to simulate a 3D effect. So we're going to make it look like the word is actually behind the building. Uh, and the way we do this is by double tapping on the text to open up the edit panel. And we'll swipe on over to the right side and select eraser. And we'll hit OK to activate the eraser panel. So we'll notice here a few things. One, I can actually just start swiping and start erasing. And you'll notice I'm now erasing parts of the word. Uh, this is obviously not what we want. So there's an undo button here that says undo last, the last uh, eraser movement that you made and now it'll revert back to the original. So I want you to focus on a few things. One, there's a focus button here. So I can actually turn that off and then just start swiping on the screen and you'll notice the word is being erased. Again, we don't want that. We're going to undo it and start over and actually turn the focus on. And you'll notice what that does is give you like a little green dot indicating exactly where you're erasing. Um, and this is for, you know, maximum precision. So we're going to go ahead and erase parts of the word that we don't want here. Again, I'm not doing this perfectly since I'm doing this rather quickly, but you can do this perfectly if you take your time, which I'm not doing so much. But you notice this is kind of what we're going for, right? So the word looks like it's behind the building. We've simulated a 3D effect with this eraser panel. It's not perfect, a little rough on the R there. Uh, but again, we were just doing this quick as an example. But looks pretty cool. The word looks like it's behind the building. It looks 3D. And we did that in maybe 15 seconds using the eraser tool, which is really awesome. Let me give you another example. So check this out. Here, now we got a picture of an ocean. Again, I got this from Unsplash. So I'm going to type the word ocean. And again, I'm going to select a kind of like a heavier typeface. Let's do this one. Um, so I just wanted to show off another really cool thing that you can do with the eraser. Let me actually like reposition it a little. That will be perfect. So I'm activating the eraser tool. And what you'll notice is at the bottom, there's some brush types, right? So there's a sharp, there's a fuzzy, and there's a dot. So as an example, here's what you can do with the fuzzy brush type. And I'm just going to make the size of the brush a little bigger here. Um, and I'm actually going to take the focus off because I don't need so much precision. As you'll see, what I'm going to do is just swipe the bottom of the word. And as you can see, there's like a little opacity, right? There's, um, it's like a fuzzier edge, uh, a feathered edge to the word. And again, in five seconds, I just created something really, really cool because of that fuzzy edge, which is not so sharp. It looks like the word is kind of floating submerged within the water. Again, a very cool effect that took 15 seconds, if that, uh, to create within design lab. And just to provide you guys with a few more examples, uh, what you're seeing on screen now are actually images produced by the community. These are created entirely by you guys um, using Design Lab, specifically with the eraser tool. And I wanted to show you just to show off the diversity and power of the tool um, and give you examples of the incredible creativity showcased here and the amazing images you can produce entirely within the app in just a few seconds. I mean, a lot of these images are created in under one minute, uh, which is just incredible to see. And we are inspired every day by the things you are creating. So please keep hashtagging Design Lab on all the images you produce. And uh, we're going to be featuring our favorites on our social media accounts. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.